Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment, and in today's video, I am at Epilog headquarters. We are going to be doing a registration dot camera video showing how that works on the Fusion Pro series. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So we're gonna take one of the files that Epilog uses for trade shows. There are registration dots printed onto this design. So what we're going to do is put it into the laser. We'll jump over to the computer. I'll show you what to do with those dots and how you recognize them in the software and show you how to send that job over. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and show you what's going on. All right, so I'm gonna pull up the file here. The first thing is there are three different colors. There's one for the registration dots, which is going to be the green, the outer cut, which is going to be the red, and then the perforation cuts, which are going to be the blue. This has been sent over to the job manager already. I already go, went ahead and put the settings in to kind of speed that process up. So for the green, it is labeled as a registration. For the cutting, and the red, it's going to be power of 15%, speed of 30%, and a frequency of 50%. And then for the cutting, it's going to be a power of 10%, a speed of 30%, and a frequency of 2%. That frequency of 2% is what helps us do that intermittent line look to help do the perforation instead of cutting all the way through. So in the software for the registration marks, I have to go ahead and select the first one that is pink. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in to my bottom registration. Go ahead and click that dot. Then it will prompt you to select the second dot. So I'll go up to the top left corner and select my second dot. It will line up the design overlaid with that print. So I'm just going to zoom in here, check that out a little bit, make sure it's within the bounds. And it's pretty close. It looks like I clicked a little bit to the left on the dot. But you'll see that it does preview your design to make sure it lines up with your print. Once you are there, you can go ahead and hit the proceed button. And what it's going to do is it's going to hunt the routine on the machine side. So I'll show you a little bit of that and how that process works. So on the machine, the camera is actually on this head gantry system. The camera is right here. It will look at each of those dots first. So once you click the proceed, it will start to hunt for those different spots to line up your design. So there it's looking for the first spot in the bottom right. There it's looking for the second spot in the top left. And then once that happens on your screen, the window will disappear and it will be sent over to the machine. After it goes through that process, it will send the job over to the machine. You'll go ahead and hit go, and then we'll watch it cut out. The file finished cutting, so what we're going to do is go ahead and pull this out. Grab all the little pieces. And there are little tabs here that are holding this in place because at the trade shows they just pull the whole sheet out. Normally, if this was just a design at home, I'd probably leave those off. And there we go. So let's go ahead and fold it up. So we're just gonna take it. You will see the perforated cut here. Let me try to focus it. So it's not cut all the way through. It is spaced apart and it can just bend a little bit and it will hold together for you. Okay, so we're just going to fold these sections in. Pretty much everywhere there's a perforation, like so. Slide the ears in, which go 
this way, I think. Like that. Slide the other ear in the other side. Like so, and then they link together on the inside. Just like that. Go ahead and do the same thing for the arms. And link those together, like so. Link the top. That'll act as a support for when I bend over the top of the ghost. So go ahead and bend over that section. It'll curve and slide it into these slots at the bottom. So that's how you use the registration dot camera mixed with the registration dots in your prints to be able to cut everything out accurately and be able to do the print and cut method. This is a feature that's only on certain models, specifically the Fusion Pro line. If you are looking at using the print to cut method and you want that registration dot camera, you are going to have to go into the Fusion Pro line. Uh, and if you do already have a Fusion Pro, definitely play around with that feature because it can be a very powerful tool. But that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so that you know when I come out with new videos. And be sure to check out my Instagram, at Maker Experiment, where I share things along the way. But I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see you in the next one.